Dear children, welcome to another session of children's liturgy. In today's gospel, Jesus tells us to examine our hearts, our intentions, our words, and our behaviors towards others. Let us listen to the gospel now. One day, the Pharisees noticed that Jesus and his disciples had not washed properly before eating. They asked Jesus, Why do you ignore the Jewish custom and eat your food with unclean hands? Jesus answered, You have made the laws of men more important than the laws of God. You take great care to wash and keep your bodies clean on the outside. But you have forgotten that what is important is what lies inside your hearts. Ordinary dirt cannot make our hearts and lives unclean. Only wicked words, thoughts and actions can do this. It is more important to God to have a good heart than clean hands. It is great to see you again. Let's look at today's reading. One Sunday, a boy bowed his head and led his family to say grace before breakfast. Then they went for Mass. On his way, he complained about the traffic. He grumbled about the heat. And he screamed and used bad language at his sibling when she accidentally stepped on his toe. His mother was watching him all the way. Well, son, which behavior showed that you love God? Your grace before meals or your behavior after that? What do you think? You must wonder why the Jewish tradition of special rituals of hand washing started. The tradition started to help people remember that they are entering God's presence that they are meeting him. The tradition was meant to remind them that God is with them all the time. However, the Pharisees became too occupied with this tradition and even believed that that was the only way to check if a person is a good person or not. Jesus and the Pharisees did not merely fight over hygiene. The Pharisees did the ritual washing to have a sense of being superior, being better and holier than other people. They wanted to look good in the eyes of men. I do not think that Jesus was saying that it is not important to wash your hands before you eat. He was saying that keeping the commandments of God is more important than keeping the traditions. Jesus is not opposing the traditions, but he does not want us to use them to make us feel more important, better or holier than others. These traditions are to remind us to cleanse ourselves inward to know, love and serve God. Abstain meat on Fridays? Great! This is to remind us of Jesus' sacrifice. If you abstain from meat or make sacrifices, does that mean we are better disciples than others? No. Watch every children's liturgy videos? Awesome! These videos help us in our faith journey as we strive to know, love, and serve God. Do I go around and criticize others who fail to watch the videos? Say your grace before meals? Beautiful! This is reminding us of every gift that comes from God. Do I think that I'm a better person, a holier person, than those who do not say their graces? Do I attend Mass but cannot wait for the Mass to end quickly? Do I read the Bible daily so that I can show off my knowledge and facts? 
Do I pray loudly so that my siblings will think highly of me? Do I talk to my friends about Jesus so that they will think I am very holy? Today, Jesus wants us to examine our thoughts, our behaviors, our hearts. We show that we love God by having unselfish, pure and kind thoughts, words and actions. We wear disposable gloves and use handy wipes and hand sanitizing lotion to keep our hands clean. But how do we keep our hearts clean? If we were to examine our thoughts or intentions, are they focused on getting what we want? Are we careful with the kind of books we read or the kind of music we listen to? What kind of TV shows and movies do we watch? Do these encourage us to be violent, unkind or rude to others? What kind of words come out from our mouths? Do we use swear words, unkind words, or impatient tone with others? Do we, like the boy in the story, who said grace before meals, but went about his day being nasty to others and being in a bad mood? Remember Prince Hans of the Southern Isles in the movie Frozen 1? We were all taken in by his outward looks and behaviours. He seems the perfect prince who follows all the rules, who seems kind to others, who seems the one who will save the day and solve all problems. However, we learn too quickly that he has evil and selfish intentions, that all those behaviours were for a show. Jesus wants us to follow the traditions with the purpose of watching our thoughts, words and actions. He wants us to always look at our thoughts and intentions and show that we love him in our words, and behaviours towards ourselves and others. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, forgive us for unclean thoughts. Create in us clean hearts to honour you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.